chapter 10 Mindfulness in daily life Bhavana We have come to the last day of our six-day retreat. We have been practicing mindfulness meditation. Some prefer to call this mindfulness meditation insight meditation, which is the translation of the Pali word vipassana. It is important to understand another Pali word, bhavana, in order to understand mindfulness meditation. Bhavana means developing mental ability. Any method that develops our mental ability, enhancing our ability to cope with life, to enjoy life, to be peaceful, happy and calm is called bhavana. There are many types of meditation. Some people meditate using various techniques that mainly emphasize acquiring concentration, which practically means not allowing your mind to wander, but to focus on one chosen object, maybe a mandra, breathing, a candle, a kind of reflection, chanting, gardening or even golfing. People will use anything that makes the mind concentrated. Since they develop the mind in a certain way, they may be called bhavana. Mindfulness Meditation In mindfulness meditation, the emphasis is somewhat different. It's not about acquiring concentration only for the sake of it. Concentration is not everything that is required. There are many other factors that have to be developed together. It is vital that the uniqueness of mindfulness be seen in the context of the Noble Eightfold Path, also sometimes known as the Middle Path. The Noble Eightfold Path is a composition of the eight factors, namely, right understanding, right attitude, right effort, right concentration, right mindfulness, right action, right speech, and right livelihood. This path is known as the middle path that transcends two extremes. The two extremes can be found in whatever unenlightened people does. They are the two extremes are diametrically opposed to each other, such as like and dislike, have and have not, eternalism and nihilism, self-indulgence and self-torture, indeterminism and predeterminism. Only by seeing the two extremes and abandoning them can the middle path be discovered. Mindfulness meditation is indeed a practice that is directly aimed at developing the first five factors to form the path. Here, each individual has to form the path for himself or herself. The word used by the Buddha is not merely mindfulness, but right mindfulness. Mindfulness is right only when it is developed with the other seven factors. Mindfulness becomes a part of the path. At the point it has, de- has helped to develop the other seven factors. Here, there are two kinds of mindfulness, intensive mindfulness and general mindfulness. The first one is developed in intensive meditation, while the latter is in normal working life. Today we are going to discuss how to develop general mindfulness in daily life. Right Attitude I have often emphasized in this course of meditation retreat that suffering is very much part of our life and it is very important to have the right attitude towards it. Let's take pain as an example. It is important to be aware of the fact that pain is common to all living beings. Pain that is being experienced 
may increase or decrease. This is suggested as another the doctrine of non-self. Do not expect it to work one way, that is to decrease. Keep the mind open to both possibilities, be flexible with and be prepared for either of the outcomes. This is the right attitude which is relevant to the reality of life. Otherwise, we are not prepared for the worst in good times and forget to hope for the best in bad times. The nature of non-self and not that is the ultimate reality. This means we are not in ultimate control of pain. Things are the way they are, are not always the way we imagine them to be. For this reason, generally, the way things work for us is very unsatisfactory. To be unsatisfied and frustrated with things around us is called dukkha in Pali. There are three aspects of ultimate reality, impermanence, anicca, unsatisfactoriness, dukkha, and non-self or no creator, anatta. Our attitudes to life have to be based on life itself and not on abstract imagination of life. These three aspects make up the very characteristics of our daily world. Anything that we see when we go shopping or when we are at home, including all the objects we experience during meditation, has but these three characteristics. They encompass the nature of the whole universe. They are ultimate. Realistic view When observing the pain, if we expect it to respond in a certain way, say to go away, then our mind is not open to the other half of reality. Consequently, as the pain increases, we start reacting with impatience or frustration. This is because we are not in touch with the whole of reality. Wrong attitude can make us suffer more. So to have the right attitude is very important. This kind of right attitude is what we call samaditi, right understanding. Right understanding of life in the context of change, in the context of unsatisfactoriness, in the context of non-self. This basic right understanding is very important in order to develop a realistic view of life. Otherwise, you can develop a pessimistic or optimistic view and not a realistic one. As a doctor, you can see that if you have a pessimistic view, you're not going to try your best to save a life. If you're too optimistic, then you're not going to be seriously taking any measure you should be taking. If someone suffers from a certain disease, to know that person is suffering from that disease, to know it correctly, this is the realistic view. Realistic view is safer than either the pessimistic or the optimistic view. The Buddha was a realist. He had a realistic view. He was neither optimist or pessimist. Intensive mindfulness is what we have been doing for the last five days with 20, 30, 40 minutes and one hour sessions. You are determined to practice and develop mindfulness intensively. You pay attention to even a slight sound and a mild pain intensively. You're trying to develop unbroken mindfulness continuously. This is intensive mindfulness. We have retreats of 10 days, one week, one month, or a few months. Those are all intensive retreats. Intensive mindfulness is mainly for training. As a soldier under training, you learn how to put instruction into practice, use weapons, and respond to the situation. You study how to do certain things intensively. However, 
Some of those methods you learn may not be directly useful in battle. But they provide a basic knowledge and a good foundation based on which you act in battle. For someone who has never had any training in a camp, it would be very difficult to respond correctly in the front line. Therefore, for us, the purpose of intensive training such as this is to learn the techniques under the close supervision of a teacher. In intensive med mindfulness meditation practice, when you walk, you're trying to be aware of each movement. For the physical movement later, the intention and sensation. This is the way the mind functions. What we do is try to be aware of the function of the mind. We have concerned ourselves with establishing mindfulness sati rather than concentration samadhi. Because as far as I understand it, in Vipassana meditation, sati and mindfulness is the basis and also the leading factor. Only with the help of mindfulness, we will be able to see what we do not have and what we have. See, when our posture slumps forward, we detect it because of awareness. Otherwise, our posture would be slumped the whole day. We would not be aware of it. We also discover with mindfulness that we react to things in a certain way. Mindfulness helps us discover that. When pain comes, we feel agitated, frustrated. We learn about these reactions with the help of mindfulness. We also learn that we do not act. Sometimes we do not react. We learn about something which is there, which is not there. The presence of something, the absence of something. We will be able to apply our effort only when we discover both the presence and absence of something. Mindfulness needs to be understood in the context of right effort, which is about applying effort when and where is necessary. However, intensive mindfulness meditation is not practical all the time in working life. When you drive a car, you cannot be intensively noting, registering all of your movements or your thoughts. Just as the purpose of putting a soldier in the training is not confine him to the camp, but to equip him with the practical knowledge to face better field. General mindfulness. Let's talk about general mindfulness now, which is also known as daily awareness. General mindfulness is what you practice in daily life, at work, at home, when you try, when you play golf, or when you go shopping. This is the ultimate aim of establishing intensive awareness. In the case of successful meditators such as an Arahan, mindfulness is ever present in daily activities. For them, they do not need to sit to develop mindfulness intensively, although sometimes they do some kind of intensive session to increase a certain ability such as concentration or a certain calmness and peace. Now people ask me. How can you do this? You have to know lifting, forwarding, placing. How will you cross the road? If you have to register seeing, 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 how will you try a car? If you just have to not hearing, 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 how can you speak to someone? These are practical questions. To answer this question, it's necessary to know about general mindfulness. 
Indeed, unless and until we know about general mindfulness. General mindfulness. Let's talk about general mindfulness, also known as daily awareness. General mindfulness is what you practice in daily life, at work, at home, when you drive, when you play golf, or when you go shopping. This is the ultimate aim of establishing intensive mindfulness. In the case of successful meditators such as Arahan, mindfulness is ever present in daily activities. For them, they do not need to sit to develop mindfulness intensively. Although sometimes they do that to increase a certain ability such as concentration or a certain calmness and peace. Often, people ask me, how can you do this if you have to register lifting?